From your time at Innovative, what were some of the things that you learned about marketing your story? What was hot, what was not, what type of, you know, coming of age dramas mm -hmm. sounded great but just wouldn't work in terms of studios? Well, you know, every agent um, has a roster of clients that they represent. So um, for writers, uh, you'll have your horror writer, you'll have your sci-fi writer, you'll have your dark comedy, your drama, all the genres are usually um, fulfilled in, in a roster. And if you have one, you probably have two, you probably have three, you know, different writers or directors that you can go to. So, um, you know, I think that what I learned there uh, is more about um, you can't necessarily be the jack of all trades. You kind of have to find a niche and be the master of one. So, you know, unless you're the Coen brothers or something, it's very difficult to be expansive as a writer and to touch on every single genre and to work in every single genre. So, um, you know, a prime example from Innovative is, uh, so Nancy Nigrosh represented a writer named Stuart Beatty. He's uh, an incredible soul. I, I like him so much, very dear, dear friend of mine. He wrote um, Collateral and Derailed, and he actually wrote one of the first drafts of Pirates of the Caribbean. So having written on that, uh, Nancy used to shop him as the pirate guy. She would literally go into a room and say, you guys looking for a pirate script? I got the pirate guy. I got the guy who writes pirate scripts. And, you know, eventually that film was made. Uh, you know, he created the Captain Jack, Captain Jack Sparrow character. He created that, that storyline and it took him a few years to get a credit for it because a lot of writers wrote on that project. But he was able to carve out um, quite a lucrative career having started as the pirate guy. So I think that you learn that you have to find out what your specialty is, where your strengths lie. So for me personally, I know that um, I can write drama and dark comedy. So that's where I stick for the most part. I, I'm not against writing science fiction, but I just am not well versed in it. I'd have to research a lot of it. You know, I'm not against writing uh, you know, psychological thrillers or, or other you know, genres, but I think once you know um, what you're potentially good at, that's a very good tool to hang on to. So in terms of what sells and what doesn't sell and marketability, I don't think there's an answer for it really. You know, I think we're constantly guessing and trying to figure out what sells. You know, that's what agents are doing. That's what producers are doing. That's what studio heads are doing. Um, trying to find a way to make money. It's a business at the end of the day. So um, in terms of what's marketable, I, I still think at the end of the day is if you're a good storyteller and you can tell a great story that's going to be compelling and someone reads it from start to finish and it changes them in some way, you'll probably get that film made.